Have you ever felt like you weren't good enough for God? Like there's no way God could possibly love you, welcome you. Like there's no way you're good enough to be a Christian or a follower of Jesus. If you've ever felt that way at all, then this video is for you. You know, one of the most common things that uh, somebody who maybe didn't grow up going to church, somebody who feels like, man, I've made so many mistakes in my life. I, I, I've got so much baggage that I'm bringing to it when they first show up to church that they'll say, I'm just not good enough to follow Jesus. I'm not good enough to go to church. I'm not good enough to be a Christian. Here's the good news. Welcome to the club. You don't have to be good enough, right? Like when you read about Jesus, Jesus spent most of his time with people who weren't good enough, who from the religious leaders of their day's perspective. They, they didn't measure up, they didn't count, they weren't good enough, they weren't spiritual enough. There's no way God could be interested in them. There's no way God's son, Jesus, you know, if he really were God's son, would spend time with him, and yet Jesus did. Jesus spent time over and over again with the people who society said weren't good enough, and that means he would be willing to spend time with you. One of my all-time favorite stories in this regard, which when we're talking about Jesus, shows up in Luke chapter 7, beginning in about verse 37. And it's a story of Jesus. He's at some religious leader's house, a Pharisee. The Pharisees were the popular religious leaders of Jesus' day. He's invited Jesus over, over for dinner because he's like a visiting biblical teacher in town. And Jesus goes to this guy's house, and while he's there, this woman who appears to be a prostitute. She's known in town as a sinner woman. She comes into the Pharisee's house. She breaks ranks from the rest of the crowd that maybe is gathered around the wall. She walks up to Jesus. She falls on her knees and she's sobbing. And as the tears run down her cheek, they begin to drip on Jesus' feet. And now she's made a mess of his dirty, dusty feet. So she lets down her hair and she begins to wipe his feet with her hair. And as you keep reading this story, Jesus defends this woman against the accusations of the religious leader. Society said she's not good enough, she doesn't measure up. This religious leader whose home Jesus is in says she's not good enough, she doesn't measure up. And Jesus puts the religious leader in his place and defends the woman. In fact, says your sins are forgiven and gives her grace. That's the person that Jesus is. And so if you feel like you're not good enough, if you feel like you don't measure up, if you feel like there's no way Jesus could welcome you, just know Jesus loves to spend time with people that the rest of society says aren't good enough, which means he loves to spend time with you.